Oh, yeah, um, day 32 post op. Um, nothing, um, nothing spectacular to add other than I'm, you know, uh, today really has been the first uh, first day that I feel I'm I'm right back to where I was before I had me um, me little blip at the weekend uh, and also on a bit from there. Um, thinking back on it again, I um, I'm not much. Uh, not much changed on my um, thought that it was um, a little bit of a pinch of the vertebrae around the neck, which um, if, if you check the, uh, the picture of the, the post-op scar, you can see that, that it certainly covers that area anyway. So, um, you know, there's, there's going to be a lot of inflammation around there. I think doing the hanging um, shoulder depression uh, exercise tweaked it pretty good um, that uh, anyway all, all that sort of got me onto thinking um, I'd had a occupational therapist uh, visit or a visit from two of them uh, last week which I don't think I included in any, any of me uh, any of my blogs uh, and I also don't think I've uh, said anything about the um, is there the hotel the hotel <laughs> there's a Freudian slip the hospital um, uh, discharge uh, report uh, so I'll, I'll just read from there for the um, for point of note uh, summary of key events investigation investigations and treatments given during admission patient presented with double vision weakness numbness left arm left arm Hemifacial weakness or numbness and vomiting. CT head done at the time of admission showed hemorrhagic lesion in the left part of the medulla, uh, and the MRI showed uh, showed features suggestive of medullary cavernoma. CT chest abdo pelvis was done on twentieth of the fifth, which did not show any underlying lesion. Patient was. Discussed at neuro, neurovascular MDT, a decision was made to surgically resect it. The surgery was done on 26th of the 5th. By the way, even though that decision was made, they did have the good taste to ask me if I was up for the operation or not. And I was, clearly. Um, the surgery was uncomplicated. Easy for them to say. Patient was monitored in ITU post-operatively. I was in, only in there for about 12 hours. 12 to, I don't think as long as 20 hours, but 12 to, to 15 hours maybe. Um, his post-surgery progress was completely satisfactory, which is why they got me out of there so quick. CT head done post-operatively was satisfactory also. The resected specimen was sent for tissue histop, histopop. Let's see if we can get this one out. Histopathology. Not difficult, really. Histopathology report showed that it was indeed a cavernoma. He was assessed by occupational therapist and physiotherapist as well. Please note, patient thinks he knows bloody everything and will not take, take advice from anyone. Um, didn't really say that. I thought I'd just put that in for everyone who knows me. Um, uh, advice given to patient, do not get the wound wet for 14 days post-surgery. I'm not sure they gave me that advice. It was written down here, but I'm not sure I read it also. Make an appointment with your GP practice nurse to post operatively. Um, that's what it says, even though it's not good grammar. And to have your stitches removed at 10 days. That was done. Avoid rubbing the wound for a few weeks. Done also. No heavy lifting, awkward twisting and bending for three months. Um, as far as the heavy lift, lifting is concerned, I haven't done any of that. I was doing a deadlift um, uh, in the gym the other day. However, it was nothing that would make a, uh, a strong man stumble like. Uh, awkward twisting and bending for three months. What's that relate to? Uh, I don't know, I don't know whether they're talking head, uh, wrong neck or back or, I don't know. Shouldn't everyone just avoid awkward twisting and bending? Uh, not for three months, but just avoid awkward twisting and bending. Gradually increase your physical activity as pain and fatigue allow. Uh, pain and fatigue don't enter into it at the moment. 
Inform your insurance company and the DVLA. Further information you can find at driving medical conditions. Yeah, fair one. I haven't done that yet. Uh, need to, I suppose. If you experience increasing headaches, weakness, fever, wound swelling, discharge, seizures, then contact your GP out of hours or A&E for advice and support. Uh, there is something on this next page which may be of interest. Still clumsy as anything. Not change there. You should wait six to twelve weeks before resuming sporting activities. Maybe longer. I'm sure they're talking about some sort of, uh, you know, tennis, squash, footy. Uh, probably waiting a bit longer for a bit of boxing. Um, so uh, you know that doesn't. That doesn't mean going to the gym. And no, I'm not in denial. Um, follow up arrangements for discharge, hospital outpatient appointment in three months. Um, suggest GP follow up in three to four weeks. I've got an appointment with him on the 11th. Uh, although that was a um, as a result of the occupational therapist's uh, visit. They were just a little concerned around. There was still some symptoms presenting um, are in the in the voice box uh, and a little bit of breathing they want me to uh, see him with a view for ear, nose and throat uh, multidisciplinary involvement uh, has been down here as the occupational therapy uh, the two occupational therapy um, girls came out um, and off the back of that 